Hey everybody, so it's been a while for posting anything here on Hoptown Flyer, but uh, I have been wrapped in work and I haven't really had a chance to get up. However, I had a month off between projects and uh, I'm currently living in Vancouver, BC, and I got a chance to slip down into the US for uh, about a month and um, I got some flying in while I was down there. So I'll be posting a few videos coming up here. Uh, I get to go flying again with, uh, with Kelly in Oregon. And um, so coming up, you'll get to see a few, uh, few of the maneuvers I did. And uh, for this first video, it's basically just me taking off and landing, you know, doing run up, uh, basic stuff that I hadn't done in quite a while. It had been about a year and a half, I think, with uh, flying with Kelly. It had been a year since I'd flown, and that the last flight was in Arizona. So um, if you remember that video from, from, uh, from a few miles back. But anyway, so I uh, uh, hope you like this. Again, there'll be some uh, bit more videos coming, including doing some uh, maneuvers, slow flight stalls. Um, I landed on a, um, near a beach um, on the coast. And um, we even have a Q&A video with uh, the CFIs where they answer some of their frequently asked questions. So all these videos will be coming up, but uh, depending on how work goes. But in the meantime, this should uh, get you started, and it got me started, and um, it's uh, good to be back in the air, and um, thanks for coming along with me. So say, say hello to the world. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time since Kelly and I have been up. It's been almost, I think I was out of here in April or something of last year, right? Yeah, a year and a half. A year and a half. Has it been that long? Yeah, that's, that's sad. Yeah, it is sad. So, uh, all right. So I'm very excited, and hopefully I'm going to contain myself and be able to fly this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave mine open for now. All right. See if you got your seatbelt on, harness, fuel selector, both, which is right in between the seats on this guy. Okay, so it's on. Forward is on, right? Yep. So we're good there. Mixture full rich. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's all the way in. All the way in. Right? Yeah. And is that what you typically do on this thing, or is it? Okay. Uh, exterior, interior lights set. Do we turn the lights on before we turn the master on? Uh, beacons on, so we're good. Beacons yep. on, okay. Uh, circuit breakers are in. That's good, yeah. Okay. Avionics master switch off. Let me turn it on now, right? Just not yet. Okay, is this have, has this been flown? It's got to um, be, it's, it's 85 cold. degrees. Yeah, it's cold. Okay. Master switch on. Mixture rich. Throttle full. Yeah. I think it's different. That's for an injected airplane. Oh, you're so, right. It is for an injected. Uh, just just go in uh, about an eighth of an inch. Okay. Just like that. Just like this, right? Yeah. It was like a finger. Yep. Okay. And then you'll be. Uh, okay. Top of the brakes. Yep. We'll give them a shout and then uh, light it on up. Okay. Clear prop. Okay, feet are on the brakes. Oh yeah, and then I, I pull it in and pull it out. Uh, you, you probably I just it should start. Like this. Yeah, just go all, well all the way in once. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Now it should light up. Almost. One more pump. I got your radio master there. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Yep, I got you good. Good, man. This thing still works. That, that sound uh, blocking thing is... Yeah, it's awesome. It really is. All right, test, test, test. You test, good? Test. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Feels like the, my first solo day, you know? I was like, <laughs> I'm so ready. Let's, let's see if I can actually do it. All right. And then this one's got an Aspen, so we'll turn the Aspen on after we get the engine running. And what does that do for us? That's uh, this whole display oh, okay. thing. So yeah, we'll flip that guy up, and then we want to uh, let it warm up and get uh, aligned before we move, because it's got an AHAR system in it, which uh, basically has to find what's level. First, okay. it replaces this attitude indicator. This is still in there as a backup, just in case this were to fail, but uh, this is what you call a glass panel, basically. So uh, we're we're calling this a level. Is that where we're in? What this grass area that we're here is, is level? Pretty close, yeah. By the way, those rocks are awesome over there. Thanks. That was just brand new about a month, a couple months ago. Wow. 
I know, we're, we're stepping on up in the world. Classing this place on up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's almost level, and the airspeed indicator will come up, and the altimeter will come up just like okay. that. All right. So, all right, and we are Cessna 2108 Yankee. And um, if you want, if you remember, we'll just say uh, Twin Oaks. Twin Oaks Air, hang on, let me see if I remember. Okay. Uh, Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna two one zero eight Yankee on the ramp, taxi to runway two zero. Perfect. Yep. How about that? I can be taught. <laughs> Twin Oaks Airport. <laughs> Twin Oaks Airport, Cessna two one zero eight Yankee on the ramp, taxi to runway two zero. Twin Oaks. Cool. On air, let's see. Laps are up. Give a little gas. Turn it a little sharper. There you go. It seems like it's as sharp as it'll. Yeah, you might need a little break on this guy. Ah. Doesn't doesn't have the tightest turning radius of any of all. Is it just this one, or all the? This one's got a big nose wheel on it, yeah. so it doesn't turn as quick as a bunch of on a dime as a, a standard one. Huh. So it's good. For, it's not quite as maneuverable, but it's good for landing on real unimproved strips and stuff. You can land on grass a lot easier with this airplane, and kind of a trade-off. Kind of kick it over here on this black part. That's great. Yep. Is this a, this is a new area? That's new too. Yep. And I'm right over there. It's my house. Oh wow. Yeah. So is it all done? You actually living there? Uh -huh. Wow. Been there since uh, December. Yeah. It's awesome. That looks great. It was a. It was a shell. Oh yeah. Know. It was. It was a total wreck. Oh. <laughs> Did, were you there for Christmas? Uh yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Your first Christmas. Yeah. First Christmas there. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. That, so we're for takeoff. Brakes, cabin doors, windows. I'll hold mine open for now, and then yeah. I'll shut it before takeoff. I keep my window open now for two. I think. Sounds good. Flight controls free and correct. Good. Fuel selector on both. We check that. Rim. Leave it down, leave it up. Yep, right there's on the trim on this guy, on the floor. Okay. So yeah, right by that white line, that's great. Oh, so the white line's up here, okay. Yep. Okay. Mixture rich, keep it rich? Yep. Okay, throttle the 1800, make it to put on the brakes. I might need a little bit, get a little bit closer. Can okay, for a second? sure, I got the plane too. Okay. So, throttle 1800. Okay. So, hundred. Make sure you're leaning out. All the way. Um, right, would that be more? They're at real high altitude okay. there, so uh -huh. you're okay with being rich here. Mike News check, so one, yeah. two over, right? And then, what, do we, what am I looking at again uh, right here, right? Just a small drop on the okay. RPM. That's one. Yep. That's left. And then we'll go back to the right, one, back two. To the right. Okay. Yep. That's both. Yep. Okay. We'll run about 100 RPM drop, 150 at the max, it, and as long as it's not running rough. Okay. And then, uh, Magnetos. Uh, yep, those were the mags. Now this one's different because that was an injected airplane, so right. go ahead and pull your carb heat. You want to check carb heat on this one. You should get a little drop. Should drop. Too okay. good. Yep, looks good. Carb heat back in. The vacuum or the suction, same thing. Okay, it's between four and six. Four and six. And... And meter, volt meter looks good. Okay. Fuel quantity looks good. We checked yep, it anyway. Check the fuel. Don't have any enunciators in this airplane. Okay. And then throttle, throttle back, back about a thousand. Okay. All right. Cool. All set. Flap set. Normal, and we're good to go. 
and just remember this one's got a lot of power and you use a little bit of right rudder as you climb out. Oh yeah, yeah. Climb out about 80 or so. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll just let them know we're departing 20 to the south. And um, just uh, don't be afraid to uh, uh, speak up as I'm oh. doing things. Okay, to, you no know, ro Rotate, you know, right rudder, the whole, the whole okay. thing, just like I hadn't done this before. Cause uh, I'll save our lives, don't worry. Okay, good. <laughs> you, you always said you, you could fix anything I did wrong in under a second, so. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is where we put it into play. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. Twin Oaks traffic, Cessna 2108 Yankee. Starting runway 20, Twin Oaks. Looks good. I haven't heard anything in the sky since I've been here. No. Okay. Line here. Are you ready? Yep, looking good. Okay. Heels on the floor, yep. full power. Try and get your nose in the air right here. Okay. A little more. Give it a good pull. There you go. This one gets in the air real quick. Oh. And a bit, just a little better. Right. We don't want to avoid those neighbors over there. You want to climb at 70? Uh, about 80. 80, 80, 80 to 90 is okay. Okay. And then you don't have a ball in this airplane. Okay. But that little brick. Oh, uh, keep wanna, the brick even? Yeah, so step a little bit on the brick on the right. Well, do you want to shoot a few landings? Yeah. Okay. You want to go to McMinnville first? Yeah, let's do something, something a little bit something a little larger. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So McMinnville is just about your 11 o'clock. They have two 747s there now. They used to just have the one. Yeah. But they have a second one now. And, uh, oh, right there. It's on the one on the roof there. Right? Yep. The one on the roof, and there's one to the left of it, just ahead of it a little bit. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yep. So um, we'll start easing a little bit of power out, and I'll help you with the frequencies because it's been a while. Okay. Um, but we'll put in their frequency. They have um, the main landing runways are, are uh, two two and runway four. They also have one seven and three five, but typically use two two and runway four. I think we use two two when I was doing my solo. Yep, and we'll uh, we'll see what the weather's doing. Okay. Yep. Zero 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 six Zulu. Wind variable at zero three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two niner Celsius. Dew point zero seven Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner eight. Remarks. Density altitude one thousand eight hundred. Thermal eight two six Alpha Tango is left down wind. McMinnville Municipal Air. Two two McMinnville. So he's landing on two two. He's landing two two. And the winds were variable, so they were really not going to give you any guidance. So it was it three miles an hour, right? Yeah. Three knots. So yeah, I'd probably use two two. Okay. And so all right. And so yeah, we'll, we'll go get onto the other side of the airport. Yeah, hook around, come yep. across. Perfect. Crosswind, downwind, base. Perfect. Final, all right. Thousand feet. Is twelve hundred right? Yep. Yeah, you can just kind of keep working your way down here a little bit. Maybe about two thousand RPM or so. Or okay. There you go. Crew back traffic, safety, four seven four nine zero, entering left down window, runway two seven, touch down to call call base. Say again? That hasn't changed. <laughs> 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 well, so now we'll hang a little bit to the left here. Oh, that way looks shorter. I think, it's, I think they shorted it since I've been here. <laughs> Alright. 20 
2,700 feet. Good, now you can kind of start turning to the left here. And okay. we can just... I think we probably just want to do the down. Not really. Okay. Okay, so we're almost at two th twelve. Give her a little bit of gas here. Get our 12, 2300 again, right? Yep, right back to your 2300. Just raise your nose a little bit more. There you go. Cool. We may want a little close, right? Yeah, we may want to widen out just a little bit. There's that yeah, he's guy. Taking off, yeah, I yep. see him. So he should be out of here. No factor. Yeah, just go a little bit more to the right. That'll right. give yourself a little bit more space. There you go. Cool. Am I still tight? No, you're looking good now. Okay. Yep. And then just remember, we got four things. Get a beam of numbers. You probably heard me drill that in your head a million times. Carve it up. Yep. Carby. It's out, throttle to 15. Grab a notch of flaps down there. There you go, and... Trim it. Okay. Okay, and we want to be, we're about 90 That's right great now. for now, yep. Okay. We'll be at 70 on final. Okay. Notch. So just squeeze the button, there you go. Perfect. 20 degrees of flaps in. Looks clear on final. Good. McMinnville traffic, Cessna 2108 Yankee on final for runway 22, McMinnville. Straighten this thing out here. So Shot a little bit. I'll raise your nose up a little bit and we'll get one more notch of flaps in. Okay. Oh, reaching too low. A little harder. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Cool. I mean, right about 70 to 75 is looking good. Okay. So maybe raise your nose just a hair. And we'll, this is looking all right. Okay. Get back on the line here. And just remember, with nobody in the back seat, you're going to need a big flare in this airplane. Okay. We're at 70. Yep. Fine. Good. Keep flaring. There you go, sweet. Your feet a little bit, fantastic. All right, we got a ton of room. We'll dump those flaps up. You want it down? Yep, go ahead. Good. In, back in, yep, and roll. Throttle. On the floor, and you try and give it a big wheelie right now. Okay. Just pull back on that yoke. Pull, 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 pull. There you go, sweet. On an elevator ride. Hey, I can still land an airplane. <laughs> yep, good job. <laughs> Fantastic. That was great. What did you see him? I was just going to give you a high five. Oh, yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Zero Yankee, we're left crosswind off of runway 22, departing area to the east at uh, McMinnville. Good job, man.